It sounds like the media has pretty much decided that either Amy Coney Barrett or Barbara Lagoa should be the next Supreme Court justice. And that's because they are religious, conservative, Catholic justices, just like most of the other Supreme Court justices. So um, I, I thought I should mention John Roberts, who is the chief justice for the Supreme Court, um, he is Catholic, and I'm pretty sure he attended Catholic school when he was growing up. Uh, Clarence Thomas is Catholic, and I'm pretty sure he attended Catholic school when he was growing up. Uh, Stephen Breyer, he is Jewish, and he didn't attend a religious school when he was growing up. Um, Samuel Alito, he's Catholic, and I'm pretty sure he didn't attend Catholic school, but I might be wrong. So that means that at this point, uh, everyone that I've listed is Catholic except for Stephen Breyer on the Supreme Court. But Catholic people are only like 20% of the United States population. All right, so who else do we have to talk about? Um, Sonia Sotomayor, she is Catholic. Um, she didn't attend Catholic school though. So um, that means she probably has a different, different Catholic experience than a lot of other Catholics. Uh, my understanding is that her father was an alcoholic and that she uh, had a pretty tough life, uh, at least at, at times. Uh, so Elena Kagan, she's Jewish. Um, I, my guess is that Barack Obama chose Elena Kagan because she was a really good professor at University of Chicago, or um, she's just someone that he knew and he liked. Um, all right, so who else is on the Supreme Court? Neil Gorsuch. And what do we know about Neil Gorsuch? He attended Catholic school when he was growing up in Denver, Colorado, and then he ended up going to a different Catholic school, Georgetown Prep, where he attended school with our final Supreme Court justice, Brett Kavanaugh. So um, Brett Kavanaugh also attended Catholic school. So let's think about what percentage of our um, Supreme Court justices are Catholic. I can't remember, honestly, uh, but um, we can do the math on it. And we can find out that um, it's not a very fair distribution because Catholics are actually 20% of the United States population. Jewish people are 2%. So that means that 22% of the United States population is representing everyone. And my opinion is that um, Protestants matter. I mean, the United States was Protestant. The reason we moved to the United States was to be Protestant. Uh, that, like, that's what the whole, like, I, I don't know if people realize this. Everyone thinks the United States was founded so that they could get rich and so that they can, um, exploit the environment and so they can um, have whatever they want and be selfish. The real reason that the pilgrims went over on, on the Mayflower is because they wanted to practice religion however they wanted. And that's why the First Amendment, first the first thing it says is that you have the right to have freedom of religion. And then it says you have right to free speech. And then over time, that, that has been tested because of religious people who don't like people using free speech. Uh, and my, my free speech wants you to know that um, it's not right to have seven out of nine justices that are Catholic when there are no Protestants. And I don't think it's right that there are no atheists or agnostics. I think that's nuts because it means no one has like, no one has enough common sense to figure out that the Bible is that wrong, that um, you're for gay marriage, but then you believe gay people are abominations. I mean, no one has figured out that the Bible says that if you're a woman, you're not allowed to talk in church. You should cover your hair and you should ask your husband after church. No one's figured that out. I mean, apparently they have, but they don't care because everyone wants to feel comfortable. Everyone wants to fit in. Like, you don't want to be the gay guy in jail. You don't want to be the Jew when you're with people that hate Jews. But I was only with one person that hates, hates Jews. And um, I, I just think that, that was an attempt to get me hurt because it was trying to get me into a fight with a guy who was pretty clearly a dangerous person. I'm, I'm talking about jail again. That's all. Um, Donald Trump is picking someone, whether or not you like it, because um, that's just how life works. Like if he didn't pick someone, he wouldn't be doing his job. Um, he'd be crazy to leave it, a, af leave it until after the election.